Hi, I'm Charlotte and today I'm in Simco Library and I'm going to show you how to use the vinyl cutter. <laughs> to begin, you're going to want to insert vinyl into the back of the vinyl cutter here. So you have these clamps and you're going to want to make sure that they're pointed up like this and you have this middle slider just to put in the center. So you're going to take a big vinyl roll like that and uh, vinyl side up. You're going to feed it underneath the clamps here. And then once you've got that a decent way through, you're going to take the end of the clamp here and place it, the, the roller, right on the edge of the final and the same on the other side. All, then once you've speeded the vinyl through, then you can turn the power on, which is the first button on the cutter. So once you have got the vinyl cutter ready, you're ready to pick out the, whatever it is that you wish to cut with the vinyl cutter. So the best images are black and white or clip art. So let's search something to cut it. So a good example of something to cut out would be any of these. Any of these would work well. So I'm just going to pick this one because it's very simple. And I'm going to save the image. And then I'm going to open up Inkscape, which is down here, this icon. Then when you've got that ready, you can go to File, Import, and then click the image that you want. All right, so I'm just going to resize it to fit this page and click Path, Trace Bitmap, the automatic settings that are set here are usually, they'll usually work for what you want to do. So just click OK and uh, X that out. Move this down. So you're going to get rid of the one that's the image. So let's just delete it and then you're going to go ahead, select this and click Save As. And then you're going to name it whatever you'd like. So I'm just going to name it at pool again. And you're going to find the file type here that is .dxf. Save. And you're going to make sure that this here is selected. Everything else is OK. So click OK. So once that's complete, you can click the icon here. It's great cut. When that is opened, you can import the one that we just created here. So if we click open, it shows up right here. So then you're going to want to click tools and set res registration marks. So then you can tell how big it is up here. So it's, well, that's the position. And then here is the width. So we don't want to make too big of an object. So I'm just going to select two for width and about two for height. All right, so then when you're happy with the object, you can go ahead and click File, Output, and most of the settings here will work for whatever it is that you want to do because we're just using Final, and it's always the same material pretty well. Then I'm going to click Output. Once that is done cutting, you can go ahead and remove the vinyl by lifting up the clamps here 
and gently sliding that out. Once you've removed it from the vinyl cutter, you can go ahead and cut off the area in which the object is in and put that away and just cut the object out. So this is the final result and all you're going to do is take a pair of tweezers and take away the vinyl that you don't want in your design. So you just peel it away very gently. And then also the ends. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something new and that you have lots of fun with the vinyl cutter.